I just replaced Google Photos with something better, and it's running on hardware I own in my house with zero monthly fees. Searching for a dog in the park, or face recognition, also automatic backups from my phone. This is Image, and it might be one of the most impressive self-hosted apps that I have ever used. I'm gonna show you guys how to get this set up in your own home lab. All you really need is a Linux server, such as a VPS to get started. I'm gonna go ahead and get one spun up, and then I'll catch you guys in just a moment. Okay, we have gone ahead and built a VPS. So first things first is go ahead and SSH into the terminal, which we have already done. And we are going to need Docker. The link to the Docker will be in the description below. We are on Ubuntu, so we're gonna use install Docker engine on Ubuntu. All we have to do is two little snippets of commands, scroll down just a little bit, and we are going to see setting up the Docker's repository. We're gonna copy that, go to our terminal, and paste that in should just take just a moment once that is done go back to our browser scroll down just a little bit and you're going to see to install the latest version run this code so we're going to copy this open up our terminal paste in the command and press enter it's going to ask us to if we want to go ahead and continue press y enter and let that finish once that is done go ahead and go back to the browser and go to the link that will be in the description to go ahead and get to the docs of image going to have a quick start guide and we're going to follow it you know from start to finish and it is very simple to get started and go ahead and get image stood up so first things first we're going to need to make the directory image dash app and then change directory into that so they actually have that command where you can copy so we're just going to paste that in ls and then we are obviously inside of image dash app go back to the browser scroll down a little bit and we have the getting the docker compose file and the environment or the dot env file so we're going to copy both of those, paste that in, go back to our browser, copy the second one, and then paste that in. So if we do ls, or we can do ls space alh, that'll show us the hidden uh, .env file. And let's go ahead and vim or nano into that and see what we got. So here we have a couple of default variables that we can change. Uh, we have the time zone, the database location, the upload location. Uh, where it's going to save all the photos and videos that you upload, the version that you want, and then the database information. So password, username, and the database name. For this tutorial, we're not going to change anything. So we can actually uh, do colon Q exclamation point. This is going to force quit without saving any changes. And then if we want, we can go ahead and cut out the Docker Compose just to make sure it looks right and it should be. We can just scroll through it really quick and that looks right to me. So very simple. We're going to do Docker space compose space up space dash D. D is for detach. So it runs it in the background. So it automatically does not start the container in your terminal to where you can't run any more commands. Let's go ahead and press enter. It's going to go ahead and pull that container and then start the image server. And I will see you guys once that is done. Okay, once the container is running and the image server is running, we're going to do Docker PS. As you can see that it is healthy. The database, the Redis is still starting, and then the actual server is still starting. If you guys ever want to see what it's doing, you can do Docker log space and then just paste that container ID. And then here you can actually watch what it's doing. We'll see image servers listening on HTTP colon 2283. This right here is localhost or 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0. That's all all host listening to all IPs on the host. We can go ahead and clear that. Uh, it may take a little bit. It looks like it's running. You guys may still see some stuff running. If your container is not starting, if you stop the container, docker compose down. So we're gonna do docker compose down, vim or nano into the docker dash compose. There'll be an image dash server, redis, and then the Postgres database. You guys will also see an image dash machine learning. If your computer cannot handle the machine learning, go ahead and delete that little section of the docker dash compose file and then bring back up the container and it should start with no issues. Sometimes your the computer that it's running on just can't handle it. And for my case, it wasn't able to handle it. So I went ahead and removed that. So do docker space compose up space dash D again to get that going. Let's go ahead and do docker PS docker logs and let's go ahead and see what we got. So see right here, machine learning became unhealthy. That's fine, we removed it. It doesn't require it. So we have image servers listening. If we go to our browser now, let's go ahead and grab our IP. So IP space A, copy our IP here. Go back to the browser, new tab, colon 2283 and press enter, we'll get welcome to image. We know that the image server is now working. So we're gonna click getting started. It's gonna ask us to set up some admin stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. Really quick, I'm just going to fill this in with my stuff. You guys make sure you guys put something secure and then we'll click sign up. going to ask us to sign in. So let's make sure we uh, can actually type in our stuff correctly and press login. 
Welcome Dawson. Let's get your instance set up with some common settings. Light mode, dark mode. Of course, we're going to do dark mode. Language, English, that's fine. Uh, if we want to do version checks, map, it's just some, it does go to the cloud. So GitHub and tiles.image.cloud. Uh, we're going to go ahead and keep these on. That's fine. And then Google Cast, we're going to go ahead and leave that off. Storage template, we can order enable the storage template engine. When enabled, this feature will auto organize files based on a user defined template. We're not going to enable that. So we're just going to go to backups. And this is your typical 321 backup strategy. Three total copies of your data, two local copies on different devices, and one offsite copy in the cloud or another physical location. And then mobile app. You guys can go ahead and go download the mobile app and connect to the same IP and port. You guys want to make sure you guys do secure this if you guys are going to have this outbound and public facing. You guys want to make sure you guys put a cert and get this secured as much as possible. And then click done. And that is pretty much it. As you can see, this is on a small VPS, so we only have about 40 gigs to upload photos in, but it works, no issues. And you guys can go in and start uploading photos and videos and playing around with image. It works great. I do have a personal image server running and I have been using it for about a year now and it has been working flawlessly. So I do highly recommend image. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to answer them to the best that I can. And I will catch you guys in the next one.